Farming up. Boats, subs, and farms. Farms and chimps, indeed. Wait a minute. It's chimps mode. Do we actually get money, or is this a trap? I feel like we're getting baited here. It may be for the advanced intel? Oh yeah, probably. Hmm. So you'll be spending 1350 for nothing but range on your subs. I mean, I guess it's worth it. I mean, why else would it be there? So anyways, I think we need boats, don't we? At least to start off. But again, there's no good boat spots at all. I mean, how about here? I mean, it shoots in a straight line if it's on first. Let's give that a shot. Okay. That'll be round 6, I think. Grape shots? I feel like subs are more high priority, you know why? Because if we're going to get farms for intel, then the boats are going to be pretty much useless except for like, monkey pirates. So let me just pass on the grapes for now. Start the twin guns. So the thing that sucks about this challenge, it goes up to 63. So that means we it saves the hardest for last. So we could spend all this time thinking of a great strategy, only to have it fail in the last round. Let's reset this one. So I also gotta keep into account, yeah, how the hell to beat 63? I have no clue. Should we get Hot Shots too? Let me just buy it, yeah. I assume we'll need maybe... um... Nope. I think I need one more sub. So, is there space up here? Yeah, barely. Let's go, let's try this. I really want the Airburst, but these yellows are kicking my ass. So how about we add an extra sub? That should do it, nice. First strike. Yeah, you'll need three of them, because you can only use one per wave. So good luck getting three first strikes in time. I mean, with that money, you could just buy a Cure Flagship and win. Without abilities, easy. And 15, we're going to need to restart again. Should we get another twin guns? Let's try that. God. At this point, we're never going to afford an air burst. Now, is this enough? Come on. Nice. Okay, now can we get air burst? Please. Air burst? Spam? Nice. Just in time. So I think now we gotta start farming, eh? Well, actually, no camo first, this guy. Long range up a little bit on the sub, or boat. Let's get it. And Crow's Nest. We are $60 short of advanced intel. Do I have the Sapper achievement? No. Only no lives have the Sapper achievement, just kidding. I just don't play enough late game for, for that. I assume the only way to get that really quick is by playing a lot of late game runs. If I had to guess, I'm like 35% of the way there. It's one tough achievement. And I'm pretty sure uh, challenges don't count towards the balloon count, right? Because there's a very easy way to abuse that, like you just make round 10,000 every single uh, challenge, replay over and over, and then free sapper. But I'm pretty sure Nijikui uh, has a cap to that, just like they do with um, XP. That's why challenges don't allow you to get XP, because you can just play round 10,000 over and over, and then grind XP that way. So yeah, so far challenges give you nothing, aside from prime accomplishments. Let's get a farm now, so where to? Here's pretty good. And here too. Well, let me just start with farm number one though. I'd say here's a pretty solid spot. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. This. No. This fucking house. So this is not a good spot, because that's that means uh the sub is not gonna shoot here. Also, I need let palm power, reset. So no farm yet. We gotta buy this hot shot first. And let's see if that's enough to beat this. Come on, Intel sub. Uh not quite, not quite. Let me just try Airburst number 2. Although the issue is I probably should have my boat in the front, because right now this Airburst can get caught blocked by this lead. <laughs> not this time though. Cool. Let's go for the farm now, but not here, of course. With that said, we really can't place many uh, farms over here, because like... Unless we have a sub over here, but that's a really shitty spot. If you can even place it. I don't think you can, right? I'm pretty sure putting it here is impossible. Yeah. Or here is an alternative. So maybe a farm here later, and we'll add subs here, but for now, here's probably a good spot. And then another one in the front. But just start, let's get it. I wonder if the farm actually drops uh, bananas, yeah. But they give us nothing, I figured. Genius 200 IQ plays. Why am I collecting the bananas? Habits, that's why. I got the bad habits. So I'd love to get a sub commander, but I'm pretty sure we can't afford it. Only a few rounds here. Also, nice homing intel, nice. Like, you see they're kinda out of sight here, but... The subs missiles will always home like this. Making it possible to get balloons over here. So, yeah. The sub, if you give range, will probably not reach here. I think we definitely need a boat. Just one of them, that's it. Just one to attack at the front, so... Like here. 
that's it. A zero, zero, zero. The extra shots at the beginning will help a little bit, like this. Keeps the blacks at range. Oh, let's do shit. Yeah, there's a problem having our cannon ship or hotshot at the back. Uh, we might need this left guy to hotshots. I think ballistic missile will be short, unfortunately. So instead, I need to go for the cheaper option. An O2O. -O. I mean, I guess a napalm will help a little bit for 63, but not as much as a uh, ballistic missile will do. Ah, well. We can always restart from round 6 again, or round 1, if anything. That just won't be ideal for time. Oh shit, do we need a Pirate Lord? I just remembered. Or maybe Armor Piercing. Let's try that, Armor Piercing. So, double damage sub. Will that pop the more faster? Um, It's close. Come on, Intel sub. Okay, we have money. 1655. This is not ideal, guys. Not at all. But I gotta try this. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot better. That'll do it, right, Pinks? Homing darts? Nice. Alright, so this was it. So now our subs got range from here all the way to here. They're just missing at the very end here, but that's okay. We could buy an Intel sub like this, shooting uh, horizontally. Honestly, should we just get started? I want to get my sub now. And now we won't be really screwed when balloons get near here. I think I need camo on this one. We're missing a little bit of... Uh, 47 here. Dem camo pinks. And we're still missing camos, nice. See? Oh wait, no, 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 okay. They still hit them for some reason. So how sure are we that a um, aircraft cure will not help on 63? Because I could get that. Otherwise, I could just spam uh, subs. Like 204. Let's get another one. And maybe another one here, three of them. Can I do a Grandmaster versus Avatar Wrath? I can. Doesn't mean I will. Like, I honestly don't feel like doing any of those uh, versus videos anytime soon. Only because the only reason I started making them was because I was out of content, but... Now that we like challenges, I honestly feel like just doing those instead of, uh, stuff like that. Stop cleaning the damn farms. Sorry, it's a habit. <laughs> can't change it. Oh my god, we actually can't afford a, uh, sub-commander. We're close, actually, but... No, I think we gotta buy more this round. Never mind. 23k. But let's see missile pops camo leads, right? If you give it intel, and it's in range of like this boat here. So I thought sub commander we could afford, but no, I think we're gonna be off with that. So instead, let's try a 230 and play. I have no idea if this works. Otherwise, yeah, cannon ship. No, it's working, it's working. Nice. So no need for cannon ship. We could buy a first strike for like 63, but probably not worth it. Hell, even a first strike for 60 here could work, but I will pass. So for BFB, do we need to buy anything else? It's gonna be chasing. It's not good. More chasing? Nope, it's fine. Alright, so we're going to 63 with a lot of leeway. This is epic. We can even place more farms for uh, range, but I'm not going to, at least not yet. 61 almost complete, come on. We got one sub here. Close? Airburst? Nice, holy crap. It's like a Seeky Shuriken on steroids, you see that? He just whipped right around the house and then looped around the other house. Missile Parkour. Let me see if you can beat this round without buying anything else. That would be nice. Yeah, nice indeed, okay. Let me just see. What happens if I spam two three zeros like this? Is that enough to beat this round? Like this. More? How close are we? Um, It looks definitely doable. So, let me try two extra arm piercing. I probably should have put them here, but whatever, too late. And then we'll just use the rest of our money on two three zeros. I think I can afford one more. Yeah, pretty much. And an extra boat, just cause. Let's play. How close is this? It seems doable. Come on. Nice, nice. I think we got this, guys. Yes or no? The only issue is that the last wave is a little bit stronger than wave 1. So we're gonna need some extra firepower here. We'll get a double shot. And that should be it, right? I hope so. Come on. This is it. We can't afford anything else. Sweet. GG. Nice challenge. Allowed us to use farms in ways that, uh... 
We normally couldn't before. Balloon Crush, it's the only way. No, it isn't. We're gonna try to beat this without Balloon Crush, because we're rebels. Okay, wow, 700k. And only round 89. I mean, do we just literally buy the most expensive uh, tier 5 of each tower? So we can get a Super Mines, which we never used before. We can get a Mob Domination. It's reverse? Oh, shit. Did I see the new balance update? Yeah, it sucks. Donkey dick. Either way, even if it was a good update, I probably wouldn't play it. You know, if we put Homeland in range of the Spike Factory, that makes it shoot a lot more, right? So, I'm gonna try Homeland here. I assume we can buy uh, outright level 20 Churchill with the money you have. So, 47k we got left. Let's try it. So, it's faster mobs, right? And more HP. But how much HP? Well, definitely a decent amount, you see. They're barely damaged. Well, we gotta run the Super Mines. Come on, it's a $200,000 $200, upgrade. It's gotta be useful for something, right? Homeland now? We need more of these guys. Nah, Super Mines is ass. I'm gonna leave it on first now. Homeland? Come on, drop more mines. Elim? It's actually kinda close. Hold on, we lost one life. One ceramic leaked. And a bunch there. Um, I think it can be done if we have our spike a little further back. Let's hope that the Super Mines has enough in the tank. That's a big explosion. I think we got it. Uh, Churchill level 20? Come on, Cerams. Nice. Uh, is that enough though? Come on, bombs. Nah, that's close. Bomb Blitz? Let's get it. Come on. Do something, Bomb Blitz. Okay, they're down to BFBs. I told you, they wouldn't one shot completely. That's why I didn't want to use it so early. But that'll do it, I think. Yeah. Honestly, I don't think that there's even a point of getting Elam. We can just buy and resell the Bomb Blitz, and that'll make it super easy peasy, like this. Got plenty of cash. We'll stop at 33k. Homeland. And then just sell it once the Bomb Blitz activates. So, surprisingly, it's still up. Well, it's been not been used yet. So, this is good. Oh, okay. Well, a little bit of RNG goes a long way. We don't even have to sell it once. That's all we need. Alright, GG.